It's not uncommon for a person to grow up, live, and die within 20 miles of their birthplace. On the other hand, there have been intrepid explorers who circled the globe or studied remote islands far from home. Regardless of how far we travel from our birthplace, well over 99% of humans who have ever lived never leave the little ball of rock we call Earth. Stan's 105-minute trip beyond Earth Gagarin's Vostok 1 spacecraft orbited the globe at 327 kilometers, roughly the distance from Dallas to Shreveport, Louisiana. In the 50 years following Yuri Gagarin's momentous trip, we've pushed the bounds of space travel farther and farther from home. On July 20, 1969, the United States safely landed the first two humans on the moon approximately 20 minutes after his iconic proclamation. Buzz Aldrin spent 2.5 hours collecting lunar samples for examination, surpassing Cochrane's journey eight years earlier. As the moon is 384,000 kilometers from Earth, if you circled the Earth nine and a half times with a ball of twine, you'd have 384,000 kilometers. The Apollo 11 astronauts traveled farther than most people will in their lifetime to reach the moon, but we've gone beyond. NASA's Apollo 13 astronauts flew 400,171 kilometers from Earth on April 1970 at an altitude of 254 kilometers. Since 1970, no person has traveled further into space than the Apollo 13 crew. However, there has been much preparation for a manned expedition to Mars. We'll break our previous record when we land on Mars in 2030. Mars is 225 million kilometers away from Earth, 200 times the distance the Apollo crew went to the moon's far side. Depending on cargo and fuel, it would take 150 to 300 days to circle the world 1,365 times. 54.6 million kilometers seems far, but what if we counted unmanned probes? How far has a man-made object traveled? On September 5, 1977, the American Voyager 1 probe launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The record contains Earth's sounds, photos, and human greetings for future explorers who uncover the probe. Wind smashing waves, thunderbirds and whales, 90 minutes of music, and 55 languages. As of May 10, 2017, Voyager is 20.6 billion cam from Earth. Therefore, it has reached interstellar space. This nearly 40-year-old probe has traveled farther than any human or man-made object in history. With such a head start, it's unlikely that we will launch anything that will overtake it in the decades to come. Perhaps the most fantastic thing about Voyager 1 is that despite its age and distance from Earth, we can still communicate with it. Voyager discovered a solar wave in April 2013 by monitoring the plasma's density. This is the closest any of us alive today will get to hearing the heartbeat of interstellar space. To extend our thought experiment, we can include space telescopes as part of humanity's presence among the stars. The Hubble telescope has given us the ability to look out into the darkness and observe things we won't see in person. Universe means galaxies formed between now and 10 billion years ago. James Webb Space Telescope was launched on September 25, 2021 to observe baby galaxies, the so-called first lights of the cosmos. Webb's amazing advanced sensors and the telescope's intended position of 1.5 million cam from Earth will allow it to capture more data than Hubble. Webb will let us see back almost to the beginning of the universe, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. With advanced telescopes like Webb, humanity's reach will go far beyond what we can ever hope to accomplish with human crewed missions. Check out the links in the description for more information on any of the subjects addressed in this video. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the future of space travel. See you in the future video.